What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Christina J. I'm chilling with All on the Table. Shout out to New Family Management, my new family, Queen B, Static Beats, Pedro, everybody in the building, all for the support. I love you guys. Can't wait for y'all to check out the interview. It's going to be slamming. And y'all going to love me. And I can't wait to just bring more heat to y'all. Do you know about love? Kiss it real slow and don't let me go I can't get enough for you Can't get enough for you And it's amazing how you do the things you do And in my wildest do you dream about me too You're a smooth, smooth criminal You blow my mind every time And that's the show got me like table podcast talking that shit as i do each and every motherfucking thursday for you motherfuckers and me so we got for y'all this time we got a little treat for you niggas out there and you bitches out there we got a little treat we got a motherfucking actress a motherfucking model a motherfucking singer I'm pretty sure some dancing popping off at some point, too, because ain't too many models or actresses that don't motherfucking sing. So it, it's going down, I'm pretty sure. But she ain't say it, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, and let's not forget, she writes her own motherfucking music, people. We got Christina J in the motherfucking building was popping. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up with you? That's, hey, I'm chilling. That's got my drink in my cup. I'm just chilling. I know that's got that Hennessy or that Casamigos. What we on? No, this is Belvy all day. All I drink is vodka. Oh, okay, okay. I, I fuck with Belvy heavy. If it ain't vodka, don't put it in my goddamn cup. I know that's right. <laughs> Me. So, off the rip, I know you were saying before when I talked to you that you started out at four years old singing. I did. Yep. Four years old. A youngster. So at four years old, what made you decide, you know what, let me start getting these pipes working. What, mm -hmm. 
what influenced you to start doing that? Um, just I would say like the artists that I was listening to, like Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, and just seeing the level that they took their their ranges of their vocals, like the harmonizing um from the falsettos and like I was noticing like when I was singing a song like I would just be so serious like I gotta hit this note and if I don't hit it I'm gonna I'm gonna start it all over again like I was just that type of I was just that type of child where it was like I just didn't like play singing with songs like I took it very serious like sometimes I'll like try to hit their note <laughs> so <laughs> the average motherfucking four years old is out here singing Dora the Explorer, motherfucking, uh, uh, what's the boy name? Johnny, whoever the fuck, or whatever type of PBS <laughs> songs is popping off. And you out here, you was out there singing Mariah motherfucking Carrie. Yeah, it was a big deal for me. It was a real big deal for me. I guess because of my mom, like watching her like play the record, like the stereo that she had. And, you know, like she would play, you know, Whitney and, you know, Patty and all the Motown. So I took a real interest into like what music sound like and very soulful. So that's when I was like, all right, let me, let me, let me get down to business. So at four years, see, if you, if you was felt that way at 13, I'd be like, you know what? I'm with you. Right. But at four yeah, at four years old, I sang Mariah Carey song in front of my aunts and her um and one of my aunt's boyfriends. They came over to see my mother and my dad or whatever, and I had sung Mariah Carey's "I Don't Want to Cry." And the part where she fades off in the song, I took the mic and I was like, like, nah. like you know, like when she faded off or whatever, and they was just like, Maxine, like. That voice coming out of her? Yeah. That's, <laughs> I wish I had the tape so I could show you, but my mom don't know what she did with it. I wish you had the tape too so we could show these motherfuckers that you wasn't. Right. <laughs> Jeez. So okay. after that, after you at four years old started singing, how did you keep going? Because, you know, some people, you know, at, at a young age, they'll start some, but as they get older, shit happens, life happens, you get mature and, you know, boys come along and all that shit. So you're right. just like, I ain't singing no fucking more. I'm trying to chase these boys. What made right. you keep motherfucking singing? It was my circle, just making sure that I stay in front of people who was like in the same type of lane that I was, wanted to reach the same type of goal that I wanted to reach, which was, was, which was being in the music industry. Like my cousin Ron Ron for one, like he the one that brought me on to like being in the studio and pushing that pen. Um, and just like, you know, cause I would watch him sing too and how he would be serious. And that took me to keep it more serious and not get caught up, but just hanging around the ones that, you know, was into the same thing that I was into. And that's why I became more serious and like, just wanted to, you know, go searching for other networks and stuff to help me. Hey, shout out to motherfucking Ron Ron. You the goat on the low, baby boy. Right, hey, my cousin Ron Ron. <laughs> cousin Ron Ron. You the goat yeah. on the motherfucking low, baby. A ton of groups. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. So, so as you as you got older, mm -hmm. you kept singing. What made you decide, you know what, I need to really start writing? And I know Ron Ron probably was like, yo, write a song, but uh, that shit ain't easy for a lot of motherfuckers. So did you find it easy to write songs or did you struggle? Like, how does that work for you? I struggled a little bit. I struggled a little bit. So Ron Ron, again, my cousin, he was a good mentor to me. He was like, no matter what it is, he was like, just keep writing. You got a thought down. You know, you're thinking of something, just write it down so you don't forget. You know, just keep like writing like what you've been through. Life experiences, like just write it all, you know, like even if it do sound corny, you know, just, just keep writing, just keep like making your pen better, you know, because you're not going to know like right off the top, like to write a good, good song, but you know, just to keep it, you know, just to keep it going. And once I started doing that, I started, yeah, I started to notice how my pen 
started to get real good. I started to talk about and sing about a lot of stuff. I'm like, damn, how did I come up with that? You know, it's just the, you know, the motivation of like, just keep writing, just keep writing like what you feel. Like, even if it do sound corny, just keep writing because it's all going to flow. Okay. So are you a breakups to makeup singer? Or are you a super sexual singer? Or are you a, I'm just trying to party singer? Or are you a get your ass in the club and shake your ass singer? Like what kind of singer are you? I'm all the way around. It's however, whatever I'm feeling at that time when I hear that beat. <laughs> that's how I write my music. I'm not trying to like just stay in like one lane where, yeah, that's the heartbreak singer. She'd be singing all the heartbreak songs and the relationship songs. I want to do it all, like party, relationships, you know, like just that feel good music. So however the beat, wherever the beat is taking me, that's what I write about. Okay. Do you have a spe specific producer that you work with or are you pretty much open to working with anybody? I do have a producer that I'm working with, Static, um, Static Beat. So shout out to him, Static Beat. I do work with him. Um, he has a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff so definitely i'm going to be reaching back out to him soon because i have a lot of other projects that i do have recorded but i do have to mix down and master so it's a lot of heat coming so he's one of them but i'm willing to work with other producers too but for now he's like my go-to okay rise you to fuck that so after you got it popping with the motherfuckers singing and you were showing that off on motherfuckers and people start saying oh shit what made you decide you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start modeling on that ass. Um, dang, it's crazy. And I know every female takes six billion pictures, so everybody assumes that they are model, but it's a different way when you actually are a model. Right, 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 right. Um, I would say what really turned me on to modeling, like I should give it a try too, was because I would get a lot of compliments of like, you know, just my look and everything. So I was like, let me, let me let me try this out, see what I can do with it. And, you know, I went to like a couple of agencies and everything. And, you know, they they was right. I was kind of scared, though, because I was like, I don't think they're going to pick me. You know, like, I don't think they're going to do it. But they wound up they wound up picking me, you know. And then on top of that, it was just like my personality. Like, I'm just like real bubbly. I'm not afraid to like try new things because I know that I could do it all. It's like I'm versatile like that. There you go. I know, I know the, the I was told that the average model is like six foot ninety-seven. So how tall are you? I'm five four, believe it or not. So the runway modeling, I know I can't do. So I was picked for mostly like picture modeling, commercial ads, you know, movies, stuff like that in mm -hmm. modeling. Any but, any any commercials we could we could go check out and say oh shit that's uh, no I, you know what it's crazy because it's coming but unfortunately like I don't have like any commercials at the moment for like modeling and everything but it's coming though because I do have a deal out in New York that I'm working on so okay and you are an actress as well yep so how did that come about uh. Like I said, like me just being versatile, like because I knew that I could do that, too, because like um, when I was a little girl, I had acted in a play and I realized that I was like, I like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm just like I'm always thinking ahead. Like, I don't know. I'm just always thinking ahead because I know that I could do so much and I could become better at it. So I acted in a play. Um, I'm currently shooting a movie. Okay. It's like, a, uh, it's like a King Kong type, karate type movie or whatever. So I start shooting that back up in February. Well, this month, actually on the 18th. Okay. So you, are you doing some karate? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to be doing some karate. Like, Get you the fuck out of here. <laughs> so yeah, we I'm going to be doing some asses in the film. Yes. It's going to be lit. It's gonna be lit, yeah. So, can we, can, is it is it too early to name drop or no? Um, it's too early to name drop. Yeah, Roger the fuck that. I'm gonna highlight you offline because I want to know. Fuck everybody else. I want to <laughs> know what's going on. Fuck all that shit. 
I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. So how did you how did you get into that? How did you get that role? Um, it was actually a producer that I honestly used to work with. He hit me up out of the blue, and he was like, you know, I'm doing this kung fu, this kung fu type movie, and you know, I know you were saying how you wanted to dip into the acting, and I was like, yeah. He was like, I thought of you, so I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, you know, just uh, send me the script down. You know, I studied the script and, you know, tell me a little bit about the movie. Like, you know, am I going to be the main character? Like, you know, what's up? Like, what is it or whatever? And he was like, yeah, you're going to be the main character. You know, you're going to be getting revenge out for, you know, someone who killed your husband. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. I was like, woo. And, and you main like, character on the ass? Fuck yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to be fighting? Okay. Confident? All right. I'm, I was like, I'm down with it. So you had to go through choreography, all types of shit, huh? Yeah, I had to go through. I had to uh, go through choreography. I was sore a couple of days, but. All right, can I can I can I see a kick? Can I just see one? I just want to see one kick. <laughs> one. Don't. I just I see one. I don't want to feel the kick. I just want to see it. I guess you gotta wait till the movie. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck all that. Wait for the movie shit. Nah, you fuck all that. I'm trying to see. Movie. It's a wall right there. You can put a hole in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see an ankle go through that mother. I want to see uh, a shit uh, kick right. or something. You're really trying to put me on the spot now. What I do? Oh, Just say, I, can we get a roundhouse, a little a little sweet joint, something like I just want to see a toe uh, fly right. in the air that look like it might poke somebody's eye out. Oh, those, those, those skills, we, we gonna wait to the movie. We gonna wait. Roger the fuck that. Roger <laughs> the fuck that. Now I gotta <laughs> wait fucking two years just to see you kick the shit out of somebody in their head. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. See, I know how it go. When it comes to movie, you. you shoot a movie this year, that bitch ain't coming out for like two years. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him like, yo, can you release this like now? Once we done? Yeah. Got all the scenes that we needed? Edit that joint, put that joint together and release that like now. Because I got yeah. people who want to see it. I'm trying to see you kick some mind in motherfucking <laughs> shit. Fuck that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like, I'm going to be fighting. I'm going to be fighting the men, too. So not only women, I'm going to be fighting men, too. So. Oh, fucking way. Yeah. So you went from motherfucking Mariah Carey to fucking Wu Tang instantly, huh? Yeah, I told you. I'm trying to dip into the pot of gold all the way in there, okay? Man, I that's what the Fuck, I'm talking about off the talent, Okay, I'm here to let I'm here to let motherfuckers know I'm here and I ain't going nowhere. So we got you need a model, I got you. You need acting, got, I got you. Do we got sword play or is it just all fight all hands on hand? Um, it's hands on hands. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be fighting with weapons and everything, training so me how to you know do the weapons and stuff. So for those of you motherfuckers that don't know. Bruce Willis is like five foot two, but they make that nigga look like he like six five in every movie he in. So did they like had to angle you to make you look like you was like six three, or they just left you your regular size? They just left me at the same size. Yeah, so yeah, and so I you a little funny. bit. So yeah, hold on, you a little so, bit out here whooping niggas ass. Right, you know they kept me at the same size, so I'm actually like really like happy about that because I'm like okay, like you ain't put no inches on me or nothing, like. You kept me at the same size, like. And you gonna be out here crushing niggas on a kung fu tip. That's right. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yo, listen, listen. I love fucking kung fu flicks. So you just got me hooked off the. You got somebody that's gonna watch your shit off the rip. This your film. You just let me know when this motherfucker coming out, and I'm on it. (laughs) Matter of fact, matter of fact. Before the motherfucker come out, you coming back on head so everybody can know. Everybody can watch you do the motherfucking kicks. Most That's how def- we gonna do that. Most definitely. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. Shit, I can't wait too. I love, listen, anything with a fight scene in it, I'll watch. Right. I'll watch some bullshit ass movies just because they have fight scenes in them. <laughs> Real shit. It about to be, fuck it about to be lit. And I was very happy. I'm like, I'm glad that he actually like reached out to me. Cause I said you could have just reached out to anybody because he knows a lot of people. And I'm just like, you could have just reached out to anybody. So the fact that you kept me in mind, I was really honored about that. So you, you know what's crazy what's and people? that I respect. It's a lot of movie producers now that are reaching out to people who are who have no name and making them big characters too because 
I mean, after a while, you get tired of seeing the same people in every movie. You know what right. I'm saying? Let's take Liam Neeson for, for, for an example. You kind of mm-hmm. get tired of seeing him. Every movie he's in, it's the same. It's, every movie is taken. It's, right. it's literally the same movie. They just call it something different, but it's literally the same movie. You get tired right. of seeing that shit. Like, you want to see somebody new. Yeah. And to see a female doing that, mm-hmm. that makes it even different. Yeah, I'm excited. So let me ask you this. When it came down to, especially with the fighting, when mm-hmm. it came down to the choreography for that, it's a difference in dancing. Right, it and is. And fucking doing kung fu with somebody else. It is. It's contrary to popular belief, y'all not really hitting each other but so much and but so hard, but it still got to look like it. Right, 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 right. So how right. hard was that? Um, It was... I would say it was kind of hard to like the different body types, you know, like the structure, like the way you got to kick your leg, like everything got to be. Yeah, because it's not like dancing because, you know, everybody can like move a certain way, but still be in sync. But this is like, no, like you got to have your arm out right here. Your leg got to be this high, you know, so it was like. It, it, was a, it was a bit challenging because it's something new. It, I was like, yeah, this is way different from dancing, you know, because you got to bend your body a different way, you know, to make the, the move come out straight to the to the T. Like, so I, I did it. I did my thing. That's all That's I can say. How long, I did my thing, though. How, how long did y'all have to go through choreography just to do one scene? Um... I would say it took about like three hours. Damn, her scene? Um, her and my scene. Yeah. And we still have like another like fighting scene to do with me oh, and her. Then so I have a fight scene with him. So you still filming? Yeah, I'm still filming it. Yeah. Oh shit. So how when did y'all start filming and how long does it take to y'all till I guess they figure it's enough scenes for the movie? Right. I well to we started filming like back in when was it? It was back in December. We started filming. We started filming back in December. And to see how many scenes he want, it's like really pretty much all up to him. Cause I do know like he's been like switching it around a little bit. Like it'll be like this one way, and then like he'll come up with something else. And then it's like we gotta rehearse that again, or certain lines will change too on top of that. So okay. then we gotta like restudy like the the script again. So, but he he's getting it, he's getting it out the way, and he's um hopefully it'll be you know if stuff goes right he'll play it at the movie festival that comes down. Yeah. Okay. So. Is it is it any other names in there we might know or we can't find out yet? Um. I don't think I don't think so. I don't think you know these actors. Okay. They're yeah. I don't think you know these actors. No. Okay. What about what about the producer? Can we know who that is? The producer? Yeah. Um, the producer, his name is Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Yeah. The director or the producer like the music. Okay. Did they let you do any scores on the on the film? Any scores? Yeah. No. Damn. That's what the <laughs> what money you mean is. By, by scores, though? Say again? Like, what you mean by scores, though? Scores are sounds, uh, like soundtr- music? music for the music for scenes, soundtrack, all that type of shit. Did you get oh, any yeah, of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, okay. yeah. I'm making music for the film. Actually, Static Beast is going to help me um, with the... Uh, Music and everything. So yeah, I'm doing music for the film. Okay, yeah. So you getting it everything. all the way prepping. Right. I had to say like, what? What's that? <laughs> I, a lot of a lot of people get lost on different terms when it comes. A lot of people don't realize a a a when music is played for a movie, a TV show is called a score. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that. So and uh, other motherfuckers don't realize. For real, for real, that's where the motherfucking money is at. Right. You're playing your shit in movies, TV shows, that's where the motherfucking money is at. Fuck all these streams that everybody tell you. Keep your streams. Put me in, I don't give a fuck what movie you got. Put me in that motherfucker. 
Try to make them pockets fat. I know that's right. Anywhere that's, we that's where that chicken's at. Let me get right. some of that. Right. What is exactly. you talking about? So, you got the movie coming. Mm -hmm. Working. You got any music coming for us soon? Yep, I have a single out now. I have a single out now. It's called um, Seduction it's on my page. Yeah. And um, for the second single, I'm indecisive. I don't know if it wants to be the, band, uh, the band's view or Intoxicated. I'm indecisive on that. It might be Intoxicated. Or who knows? I might drop both. You said the band's view? Mm hmm The band. B-A-N view. The band view. Mm hmm Huh. Both names actually sound intriguing, to be honest with you. Yep, intoxicated. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like them both. You're gonna like them both. We, you got any music videos we can look for? Music videos, I'm working on that. Working on the music videos and stuff. Okay. I was actually trying to drop a Valentine's Day video for seduction. And you left us hanging. I, yeah, I left y'all hanging a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't you can't be doing us like that. That ain't cool. Come on now. I'm sorry I left y'all hanging, but definitely got the videos in the works, though. That that could have been fucking the baby making song of 2022. You know, 90% of the population will be pregnant come Monday. Trust me. That ain't gonna be me. Every doctor on the planet about to get paid from all these motherfuckers that's shooting up the club. What? It is what the fuck it is. Yes. So you got the music, you got the movies, you got the modeling. Is there anything else you crushing with or you you, you going to just stick to those and kind of like chill for now? I'm going to stick to those get those off the ground and moving because everything is coming in, into influition. Like everything is moving. So I'm real happy about that. You know, it's the only problem is it's like trying to put things like, you know, into categories, like, you know, not trying to make it all scattered. You see what I'm saying? Like just um, making sure that they all flowing on the same, on the same page. So at some point, one gonna outweigh the other, no matter how you look at it, no matter how hard you try for right. it, not to, it's right. gonna happen anyway. So it is what it is. I just say keep grinding. For sure. All three. Keep grinding with all three. If you can make them, if they all can pop at the same time, let them fuck it. Pop. Let them pop. Right. Get that motherfucking chicken. Fuck I know that's right. And me. One of pockets would be fat. Trying to buy my mama a house. Listen, I ain't even mad at that. As the fuck <laughs> you should. So right. listen, before we get the fuck out of here, I want you to let everybody know three things. One, where can the people find you at? Two, what can they get from Christina J? And three, what can they expect from Christina J? Okay, well, you can find me at Christina J, www.instagram.com slash Christina J, www.twitter.com slash Chrissy or Christina J. And what to expect from me is that I'm just, I'm going to be the shit. And like, you know, I'm, I'm that fucking girl. That's who the fuck I am. And you better check me out because I'm coming with heat and I'm, I'm not stopping. You're going to, you're going to enjoy me. Like, I'm definitely going to be their favorite candy. <laughs> there you go. That's what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Your heard, favorite candy. You know your favorite candy you like to eat? That's me. Listen, y'all heard what the fuck she said. Out. Open your motherfucking mouth and let her in because it's yes. going down. Exactly. Christina J in the motherfucking building all exactly. on the table. And yes. me. <laughs> It really hurts.
made it to the door I thought that you were someone that I waited for I guess I was wrong and nothing You wasted my time, you took me out my element I gotta move on from this nigga, you a trash Making excuses like you really had my back I swear, I should call my bros to pull up on that ass Find a new nigga, that's my whole damn plan but it's kinda crazy how I'm still thinking of such a now Guess I really missed ya I must have fell in but my fucking hair What kind of drugs I'm taking when this song is about ya Tired of bum ass niggas doing what they want Expect a bad bitch to go ahead and give it up Y'all can be serious, y'all don't do shit for us Are you delirious? You really pressure love Man, I once knew I feel sorry for you Found a new 